I'm Leo Ogawa, 28, working as a chef at this Western-style restaurant. My dream? Of course, running my own place someday. But got these little issues. Hey, I, good morning! <sighs> Ignoring me again. That's because things aren't going smoothly with I, Kimura, the girl next door who's 24 and living alone. We used to say hi and chat a bit, but... Probably that's the cause. Man, every day's really fulfilling. Having dreams makes life so nice and fun, huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Ever since then, she's been avoiding me. Well, she's just a neighbor, so I guess I don't really have to worry about it. That's what I thought, but... Is it just me, or is I getting thinner? Hey, have you been eating lately? Mind your own business. Yeah, bringing up someone's eating habits doesn't feel good, huh? But despite that, I kept getting thinner and thinner. Then after a while, I looks like she's really not feeling well. Hey, I listen. Uh. Uh. All right, that's it. Hey, if you're hungry, come over and have some food at my place. You're going to pass out any time. What the? What's with the sudden offer? It's none of your business. Even if you say that... Shut up, just stop! <laughs> I'm hungry and have no energy for this. I... Uh, did just come over for now. Huh? Ten minutes later. Here, eat up. Just made some soup. It's leftovers, but it's good. Wow. It does look really good. I don't usually accept handouts. You gotta eat or you'll pass out again. Ugh. Come on, finish it before it gets cold. Fine. I'll eat it. After that, I finish the soup. Thanks for this. I owe you one. Hey, why were you so hungry? Well... Since you treated me, I feel obliged to explain. Actually, I'm currently unemployed and strapped for cash. Huh? But what about unemployment benefits? My family relies on those for living expenses. What? It's tough at home, being a single parent household with lots of siblings. They're scraping by on my money, but the company I used to work for went bankrupt. Considering the amount of money my family needs, I can't compromise on my salary. So finding a new job has been tough. I'm keeping it a secret from my family and cutting down on my own expenses for them. I thinking so much about your family. If I find a job, I can pay you back, but sorry. Uh, then how about applying for a part-time job at the Western-style restaurant where I work? But I can't keep relying on you like this. We're short-staffed in the dining area right now. It'd make me really happy if you join. If you apply, you owe me nothing. What do you say? All right. If that's the case. So the next day, I started working at the Western-style restaurant where I work. Welcome. I'll wash these dishes. She's a good worker, always working hard. Nice. Looks like Boss likes her too. All right, I. How about trying your hand at making a salad next? You got it. Sweet response. Maybe she's got chops in the kitchen too. But then. Hmm. Why does this salad taste like garbage? Yeah, it looks exactly as it is in the recipe, but. What? Is it that bad? Well, this place is small, and we're short-staffed. If you can't handle salads and sides, even if you're good at other stuff... So... am I rejected? H hold up. Let me teach her how to cook, please. Let her stay and learn here. Leo... Um, please. I promise I'll prove that I can cook properly. Fine. Let's give it a trial period. During that time, get your cooking skills up.
got it. I'll do my best. And so, I's cooking boot camp began. Started making something simple in my room, but... S stop right there! Huh? What? I'm in the zone. Well, what's that in your hand? Chili pepper? Why are you putting that hot chili pepper in the onion dressing? Oh, I mean... I thought it had a kick. Nope, you don't have to do that. Stick to the recipe. But this is way tastier. I mean, never got to cook at home, so... Am I really that bad at cooking? Oh, the mystery of the bad salad revealed. Her taste buds are whack. Gotta fix that. First step. Few minutes later. Try this. Made it myself. Looks kinda similar to mine. What's the difference? Mm, delicious! Not too spicy. The sweetness of the onion balances out the vinegar's sourness. And it tastes nice. What? What is this? Um, it's cause your taste's unique. Let's start with flavors most people like. Hey! The way you say that. Well, if I can learn this tasty seasoning, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Reluctantly, I went along with my suggestion. After that, we started cooking and eating the same dishes. So she could learn my style while getting seasoning tips. But I wasn't too thrilled. My cooking sucks, huh? You don't have to force yourself to eat it. Nah, it's not that bad. Just this spaghetti's a bit strong. Adjust the salt and it'll be fine. What? Really? Yeah, nobody starts out as a cooking pro. We'll get there bit by bit. Got it! <sighs> Your cooking's bomb! This rich tomato ketchup flavor's killer! Even my mom can't whip up spaghetti this good! Oh, really? Like, seriously, you're awesome! Being able to whip up stuff like this, you're a genius! I want to be able to cook like this, too! Mmm, getting praise for my cooking happens a lot. But having someone eat it like it's so delicious it makes me kind of shy. From then on, I took her training seriously. As she did, I started to gain weight. Today's hamburger steak is my masterpiece. I'm gonna make sure you say it's good for sure. The cooking looks delicious, but she's also back to her old shape. She looks good in an apron. Oh, it's good. This is definitely a passing grade. But not just at my restaurant. Any restaurant would hire you on the spot. Yes, I passed. Come on, eat more. Nah, I'm... Huh? Still not liking the flavor? It's not that. Uh, then what is it? Ugh, it's embarrassing, but I can't let her stop here. She has to keep getting better. It's nothing. Well then. It's so good. Yes! I wanted to hear those words from you. <laughs> I'm really glad. Uh, I never thought I'd be able to cook something this good. And you even helped me to get a job. But still, I've been acting rude this whole time. I'm sorry. Huh? You know, my family's poor and I've been through a lot of harassment. So I didn't want people to look down on me and became a delinquent. But I just ended up fighting at school. At least as an apology for causing trouble to my family, I graduated and lived on my own while sending money. But then the company went bankrupt. That's when you said it. Man, every day is really fulfilling. Having dreams makes life so nice and fun, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not like everyone can pursue their dreams. I was pissed off. Because I had a lot on my plate. I'm sorry. No, I should be sorry too. I couldn't watch my words. I should have been more careful. No, you didn't know my reason, so it was just me being mad. 
I'm really sorry for making you feel uncomfortable. No, I kind of understand how you feel, I... Huh? After graduating from culinary school, I couldn't find a place to train. So, I was just scraping by with part-time jobs. And then, the current manager helped me out, and I finally became a full-fledged chef. I see. You went through a lot, too. And yet, I was only thinking about myself. When you're desperate, you can only see yourself. So, we're all the same. Leo, thank you. Thanks to you, Leo, I found a dream. I want to cook even better dishes like you. That's my dream now. Then let's work hard on your cooking training. Yeah! And so, we worked hard on Aya's cooking training. As a result... Yeah, this is good enough. You're hired. Thank you so much! Yes! I was officially hired after the manager knew how capable she was. Beautiful Eye turned into our top-notch store clerk in no time. Ai, you're looking cute today. Thanks. It's all thanks to our chef whipping up delicious meals. Oh, that's Leo, right? Who knows? Hey! Talking like that during work. I'm just speaking the truth. Y yeah, but... Ai's got me all shook with her comments like this. When we're heading home. <sighs> I'm tired. Then we gotta be charged. Come on. Hey, why the hug? Just returning the energy you gave me with your cooking. <laughs> Whoa, something soft's touching me. And even at home, she was still doing things to get my heart racing. Wow. Yep. Your cooking will always be the best. Well, thanks. Hey, if we got married, I'd get to eat delicious meals like this every day, huh? What? That'd be amazing. I, what are you... I really love your cooking. <gasps> Shall we get married? What? Uh, hold on, you can't decide on a spouse based just on cooking skills. You gotta check if you share the same values, or if you're compatible with that person. <laughs> Was just kidding. Why are you taking it so seriously? Even if it's a joke, girls shouldn't casually say stuff like that to guys. <laughs> okay, got it? S sorry Went too far. It's fine, as long as you get it. So, you don't like jokes like that? Well, makes sense. My heart was racing. This is way too intense for someone like me with no love experience. Since then, I've been on my mind. Um, Leo, is this seasoning okay? Sorry, I'm busy. Ask the manager. Uh, okay. Aw, oh, man. Can't even look her in the eye. I was busy, so I held back from tasting each other's dishes, but... Hey, Leo. You don't have to keep up with my cooking training anymore. Huh? You seem really busy lately, and I don't want to be a burden. Thanks for everything. Let's keep it professional at work from now on. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. The seasoning's perfect now, so... I guess we don't need the training anymore. But that night, usually this is the time to eat Ai's cooking. My own cooking feels kind of bland. I was really looking forward to eating with Ai. However, a few days later... Sorry, I want to quit the job. What? What do you mean? Actually, I got a full-time job at a company. Got hired. No way! You said making delicious food was your dream. Making delicious food is my dream. But I can do that even when I'm not working. It pays better, and I can send more money to my family. I... I guess you've made up your decision. Yeah. Okay, it's sad that you're leaving, but it's your life. Apologies for any inconvenience. Thanks for everything. 
It's all good. Follow your own path. If I made up her mind, then there's nothing more for me to say. All I can do is see her off. With that in mind, I suggested to the manager to hold a farewell party for I. After thorough preparation, the day arrived, but... Weird. We're supposed to close in the afternoon for the farewell, but... She's supposed to be here by now. She's late. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Alright, got it. 30 minutes later. I... It's me, Leo, but... Is everything okay? Sorry, I'm just not feeling well. Huh? Uh, something's off. Um, were you crying? Oh, I, I was, um... <sighs> I've had enough! I don't want to split with the manager or with you, Leo! Hey, I... Shut up! Do you understand who caused this mess? I want you to take responsibility seriously! What? Later, I calmed I down and went to talk with her in her room. But I've relied on you for so long. I don't know how to say goodbye. And also, I... I don't want to be away from you, Leo. Because I like you. What? But I know I can't just rely on you all the time. That's why I decided to give up cooking training, find a new job, and leave the store. But I just can't. I want to cook together with you, Leo. Yeah, I feel the same way. Huh? I felt really lonely since we stopped having meals together. I realized for the first time that I'm into you. Huh? Does that mean... Yeah, I like you too. Jeez, you could have said that sooner. Oh, hey! I've been agonizing over this one-sided crush for ages. From today on, let's cook together and share meals every day. <laughs> Isn't that the same as before? That's all I want. And so, we started dating. Afterward, we returned to the store and reported everything to the manager. But seriously, why were you so late? I even opened the champagne I bought for this day. Sorry, boss. We'll make it up to you. It's fine. But I, you decided not to quit, right? So, it's all good. Boss! boss. Cheers to I staying with us, and to the lovey-dovey couple. How did you... Did you think I hadn't noticed? Just get married already. After that, I apologized to the new company she was supposed to join and continued working at our place as before. Her mother remarried, and it seems like she doesn't need financial support anymore. So, let's use my part-time pay as startup funds for the store. Huh? But... Oh, no need to worry about that. I'll pass this store on to you, Leo. So, I use your money for the two of you to get married. Uh... Hey, boss! Many days have passed since then. I'm home! Oh, oh hey. hey! We're still working together at this store, cherishing these important days with our family. We plan to continue doing so. Hi! It's me, Mel! Thanks for watching my channel! I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!